Hey there, so today we have another review and this is Boulevard Tank 7. So uh, one of the like accessible classic kind of American Saisons out there. Um, this is 8.5% actually. So this is actually quite large compared to the uh, Saison DuPont 6.5% uh, and this is 38 IBUs. This was bottled, I don't even know. Jeez, uh, I can't even read it. 19, it's, it's, it's best by August, 2020. Does that math make sense on that? 112 Julian. I hate when people do this. I don't know when this was bottled, who knows? It could be a year out. It could be six months, I don't know. Six months, no, that doesn't make any sense. Actually, it could be, I don't know. I don't know when this was bottled, anyway. So first off, uh, this is actually quite pale. Uh, the beer comes in a light gold color, a lot more pale compared to Saison de Pond. Uh, this, I don't know if bottle condition but it doesn't come off that way. I mean, obviously this didn't have remotely the similar head to um, Saison de Pond. Uh, it also has medium bubbles versus uh, tiny bubbles. The head is like, you know, even half the size, even like a third of the size. Same, similar kind of haze on that. So for me here, um, the beer, generally has that kind of like saison kind of thing going on, right? It's a combination of phenolics, esters, um, some amount of hoppiness, a little bit of the grain character. So this one's less citrusy. I almost sense it a little bit of oxidation possibly. It's got light kind of um, lemon peel note maybe, but then there's like this sweeter it's, it's got a sweeter herb thing going on so it's almost like um i don't know it's like what is that um oh there you go like sage or something as generally actually just comes off a little bit lighter instead of the um kind of a little bit more tobacco-y or almost like dense kind of like grassy notes in the um uh, dupont it's a bit more pretty and like obviously it does have american hops in here so a little bit more bright Oh yeah, so it is Saison. Uh, the beer is uh, noticeably dry, you know. Despite all the impact of flavor, the thing you notice is that this beer, even in impression of sweetness, right in the middle, there's a little bit of this, like, almost like honeyed quality uh, coming in, almost like um, honeyed, you know, tea or, yeah, something like that. Like, um, yeah, honey tea kind of uh, flavor. The beer dries out quite nicely. Carbonation is quite snappy. You get that beautiful, I mean, obviously not as big as a DuPont, but like, you know, a better head on there. And so it offers a little bit of fluffiness. Uh, there's, oh, as you went more, yeah, for sure. We get a strong amount of this kind of green, slightly herbal uh, tea character comes in. I highly suspect there is some amount of oxidation here that like sort of plays into that a little bit, which is actually fine. Like, you know, these kind of beers, oxidation actually plays well because there's just rusticity, there's yeast complexity, there's um, carbonation, like, you know, all that's fine. Like, you know, some amount of oxidation in these beers actually actually works pretty well. As for the flavors, um, it's got a nice zing. You know what, really? It just keeps uh, reminding me of just like green tea, herbal tea, black tea, lemon, honey. It just keeps streaking like that to me. The hint of this kind of like um, black pepper and like maybe clovey, no, just peppery spice to it a little bit, maybe almost leaning towards white pepper, but just like light spiciness to it, high carbonation, dry. Uh, this also offers a little bit less malt. Sweetness. Well, the malt sweetness is different. This one's a little bit more honeyed, like a honeyed cracker versus maybe a little bit more biscuity that you get in the DuPont. Why nice, I like this one. The, the crazy thing is this beer is sneaky, 8.5%, wow. Horrifically dangerous, absolutely fantastic. Boom, as you drink it more, I definitely get this strong lemon pepper vibe to it. The lemon pepper vibe that you get from like, you know, chicken, it, um, that like combination of like the hops and possibly some ester quality and then that phenolic, like boom, lemon, check, uh, lemon pepper straight up in this. As not that they use it in the beer, but just absolutely fantastic. Um, this is a killer one. I haven't had this in quite a while and I haven't reviewed this in like six years. So fantastic beer. One of those shelfies you can't, uh, you know, ignore. Killer beer. Um, I like it.
dangerous one too. Let's go with a 90. Like me some say I'm I'm liking my saisons these days. Uh, let's go with a 94 on this one. 94. This is Boulevard Tank Seven. Highly recommended. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Let me think later.